Hello, group one. It is the Sun Sage back to do another pick a card reading for you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. This pick a card is who are you to them? Okay. What would they say if asked, who are you to them? What would they say about you? What would they say about the connection? So I'm actually going to pick up those two energies specifically, what they would say about you and who you are to them and what they would say about this connection and, and what it means to them. So I hope you guys are ready to see what comes through um, with these messages. So let's go ahead and get started for you. Group one, you guys selected the citrine. Okay, the citrine crystal and you selected the traditional manga tarot. Okay, so um, all right. Hold on. I'm not doing reversal, so I just want to make sure <clears throat> everything is upright. Okay. All right, guys. So whoever you are thinking of, that is who I will be channeling to see what they would say about you, um, what they would say about this connection that they have with you and what it is to them, who you are to them. All right. What it what would they say if asked? Okay, about you. All right, so who are you to them? So let's get into it, group one. Let's see who are you to this person? What would they say if asked about you? What would they say if asked about you? All right, high priestess. All right, what would group one's person say if asked about group one? We have the Knight of Wands. All right, what would group one's person say if asked about them? We have the Lovers. <clears throat> All right, what would group one's person say if asked about them? All right, we have the Seven of Swords, okay? What would group one's person say if asked about them? We have the chariot. All right. What would they say if asked about this connection? What would your person say if asked about the connection with you? We have judgment. All right. What would this person say if asked about this connection with you? Page of cups. <clears throat> what would they say if asked about the connection they have with you? Four of wands here. All right, group one, what would this person say? The king of swords. All right, and what would they say? All right, the three of swords, if asked about the connection. All right, so let's see what we have here. I am going to use another deck to clarify. I'm going to use this one here. All right, so... Okay, so I'm going to grab some of my themed messages to see what it is they would say about you in this connection, if asked. All right, we're going to see who you are to them, group one. Let's see what will come through. Dreaming of you. Okay, that's what they would say. What else would they say? Uh, date night. All right. Um, And we have love making. Okay. So because we have that Knight of Wands next to the lovers uh, when it comes to you, I do feel like you guys have had some intimacy with this person in a physical, sensual sense. Feels real is at the bottom of the deck. So I definitely feel, and I was going to say about this King of Swords, look, this King of Swords isn't going to lie if asked about you. So we'll get to what they would not lie about, but I feel like if asked about you, they are going to give a realistic, honest take of the situation. I'm not picking up on somebody that feels like they have to keep something hidden. We are going to get into this high priestess. Um, but, um, and I'm going to grab some more messages as we go, but I definitely want to see what's going on with this, um, with this high priestess. So if asked about you, this is what this person would say. All right. 
um, you could be somewhat of a secret to other people in this person's life, right? They may not know you. You may not have been um, exposed to their friends, their family, their colleagues yet, right? This could still be something that's very new. For those of you that um, resonate with that, this could also be something that you guys haven't really decided what this is yet. So it does feel like there's a level of secrecy to your relationship and how this person feels about you. So I don't feel like they would try to diminish what you mean to them in any way. But what this high priestess tells me is that because they actually do feel something special is here, they would rather be sure about it and would rather see it through and wait to see what happens before blabbing off about it to other people. So I do feel like you guys are connected to somebody private. You as well could be very private because this is what they would say about you. You're very private. You're very, um, you could be social, but you, you, there's a time and a place, right? You know when not to talk about things. And I feel like they, you know, would say that you don't really post them on social media. You don't really talk about them to people, right? You could, ha you guys could share that energy. So there's definitely something about you mutually keeping this connection on the low um, here. Some of you are Pisces. I also have some of you are Sagittarius here. I have Gemini energy here. I have um, Cancers here. So um, for those of you that are those signs, this person would specifically kind of start the conversation with, oh my, oh yeah, they're a Pisces. Yeah, they're a Cancer, right? So let's see why this high priestess is here for what they would say about you. Um, what would they say about you? Okay, the five of pentacles. Okay, so I do feel like um, your person would say about you, there are still some things about yourself that are pretty hidden. Okay, um, they may not feel like they know a lot about you. They're interested for sure, but they do feel like you keep this sort of veil around you where you, the real you, the true you is not easily visible, easily detectable here. So it's something about them having to go through like this, this this almost um, labyrinth to figure out who you are, right? The, this this really um, complicated, complex person that they're trying to figure out. And some of you may have heard that from this person, right? Um, you're really hard to figure out. You're really difficult to realize who you really like to see who you really are as a person. So um, I do feel like what this person would say, or there are some things about you that you've kept to yourself with the five of pentacles. They do feel like there are things still lacking here that if they have more information, they may be able to make a decision about, um, uh, you know, whether to, to, commit or take this to a more serious level. For now, they're mainly interested in you, what they know about you, but I do feel like you're connected to somebody, Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, who is like determined to go deeper with you, determined to get to know the real you. So I feel like who you are to them, um, what this is representing is that you are someone that they are still trying to get to know on a deeper level. It feels like what they mainly know, the stronger energy showing up is what you guys experience intimately together and that they like it. That's what they know, right? If you have not gone there with this person, right? The Knight of Wands is still an energy that um, you are somebody that they find very exciting, somebody who's not like the rest, somebody that they can um, count on to have a good time. Um, so let's see why this Knight of Wands is here. Why is this Knight of Wands here for what this person would say about you and who you are to them? It's the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so it's taking you some time to open up to them, okay? So what they would say is that, look, this has been, you know, things have moved fast in some areas and slower in other areas. So I feel like where it's moved quickly is the physical attraction maybe turned to something um, very quickly. And then the whole spiritual getting to know each other, the mental aspects, the emotional sides of each other. It's been a little more difficult getting to know each other. So I do feel like this person would make a clear look. I have a long way to go with group one. Um, I, I have a lot to learn about them, but I do know that group one is very, you know, um, they're a special person. Um, yes, we could have something special. It's kind of hard to see, you know, see that right now because we're mainly sort of blinded by our physical attraction and we haven't really gone deeper than that. But the seven of pentacles 
individuals with this Knight of Wands for what they would say about you tells me that they do know that you have a sense of value, a sense of self-value and a sense of self-worth that even they would, would say you have, right? They see that in you and it feels like that's something they would mention, right? There's something very valuable, something worth waiting for with that Seven of Pentacles, something worth getting to know a little bit more here. So some of you will be fire signs with earth energy. A lot of you do have earth energy in your top three here. So I do feel like you're connected to somebody who just knows there's more to you than the fact that you're outwardly sexy and the fact that you're funny um, and the fact that you are possibly outgoing. They know that there's so much more here. Some of you may have met this person online um, and I feel like they saw a persona of you. Okay. So who they would say you are is somebody they don't really know the way they want to know. Right. But they're, they're super intrigued by you. I have lovers here. So what they would say about you is that, look, I, I feel like I have somebody here that I can spend time with, that I'm getting to know, that I really do like, um, that I'm starting to care about. They may not trust you yet. We're going to get into that seven of swords. Something about this lovers feels like they believe you still have choices or options, right? And that's a big part of why they haven't been able to really um, settle down with you. This is how they feel about you, so or this is what they would say about you. So none of this has to be accurate right an accurate uh portrayal of who you are but this is what this person would say with the king of wands this is only confirming that this person saw you and you stood out right um or you had something really big going on on social media you had these really um nice pictures or you're you were modeling or you just you you, you know you were doing something really big really amazing and so i feel like you captured their their eye doing that and um i think that's what made this person is super interested in you, of course, because the physical or the attraction is the first sort of door, <laughs> you know, to these connections. So I do feel like this person would say, you know, you're a standout beauty, you're a standout handsome person, you're a stand, you're somebody who um I feel has a different, unique type of beauty here that has drawn this person in. But they do feel like you have options. This King of Wands is still a masculine energy representing that there could be somebody that you've recently dealt with or somebody that you're connected to as well who also has um, a, a part of you and they may know that um, possibly a fire sign Leo showing up here. So I do feel like this person would say mainly kind things about you. Um, they do know that there is a level of secrecy here where they don't truly know you, but they do want to know you, right? Um, you feel like you're still in the dating stages. Like this doesn't feel like a, a committed connection, but it certainly feels like something where you guys may go back and forth with each other. Um, what they would say about you, maybe you're suspicious of them. Maybe that's the energy coming through in the high priestess because this seven of swords here feels like neither of you really trust each other. So there's a level of suspicion here that they would point out, you know, um, I, I'm not with group one because I don't trust them just yet or I'm not with group one because group one has trust issues, something like that with the seven of swords. They don't believe you are who you are showing them to be. Like I said, they believe that there's a lot more going on with you and in your life, right? So what, ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. All right, let's try that again here. All right, why is the seven of swords here? It is the four of swords, okay? Um, so I feel like... Um, what they would say about you, um, some of you had a conversation with this person um, and mentioned being together or something like that. And this person said, I'll think about it. Um, <laughs> it's it rubbed somebody the wrong way. Somebody said that and it rubbed them the wrong way, right? Even if it was you that said that group one or you guys talked about relationships and they seemed like they were running away 
from any sort of commitment, it rubbed the other person the wrong way. So this person, what they would say is that we've had, we kind of talked about, you know, going exclusive and it didn't go so well because I said this, or especially if they're a Sag, right? Especially if your person you're connected to is a Sag and they were super blunt and they said something that um, was their truth, but you didn't receive it that well. So it does feel like this person is acknowledging that there was a conversation had here. Trust issues were possibly brought up. Um, maybe you said something to the effect of, well, if you're just here for the physical, then you know you can leave or something like that because I want something more. There's some type of conversation like that that's happened here. Um, I do feel like for the most part, there's a high priestess here connected to a, a, a knight of wands. What that tells me is that there's somebody here who is definitely spiritually um, wanting to connect to somebody, right? Superficial connections just won't do. You have to have something more. You have to have um, a, a, a level of connection that speaks to your soul, that doesn't just speak to your body. And then you're connected to somebody here who's not as tapped into their spiritual journey, but you guys really like each other. There could literally be a Pisces and Sagittarius here. But Outside of that, you know, it feels like there's an opposite sort of energy showing up for what this person would say about you. I do think that they find you exciting. They're actually drawn to the side of you that mirrors the side of them, right? The fact that you guys are both super passionate and you have this really um, energetic sort of a, um, a appeal when it comes to you guys being together physically or intimately. You may even have shared some some trips together or something. There's just a sense of adventure. But one of you definitely feels like you're more ready to have this commitment. And you may not have spoken out about it the way that you wanted to, because when it was brought up, it feels like they said something um, that you didn't like the way that it came out. And so you may have stopped talking to them for a period of time. I don't feel like you guys blocked them. I don't feel like you guys moved away from them. But I do feel like you guys challenged them to sort of think outside of what they felt they already knew, which was that, look, we can just have something here that doesn't have to be too deep. Like, yeah, I would like to get to know you more, but at my own pace, right? And so it feels like some of you made it clear in, in by pulling away yourself, not them pulling away, but by you pulling away that eh, I don't know if I'm interested in that okay so that four of swords tells me that there's been a lot here about you explaining to this person that you need something more I don't feel like you've really expressed okay these swords tell me that there are things you're not saying to them there are truths that you have about what you need and what you want out of this connection that you haven't made that clear because they still seem like they still would consider you a high priestess. They still feel like you're not saying what you really want to say. And they know that there's more to what you've been saying, right? And we all know that that more is represented in how much you really do care for them and want something deeper. So the chariot here for what they would say about you, if asked, I feel like the chariot is representing that, um, a lot of them know that if they fall short and they can't give you what you want, you have no problem sort of like moving away from them officially, okay? Um, some of you guys are far too mature to stay in connections that don't... Um, um, fulfill you and the ace of wands is that something new right you'll you'll be seeking the next new thing that could be a part of the trust issues too um with that seven of swords they're like why would i give my heart to somebody high priestess energy here who I don't really feel is showing me who they truly are and they could have a totally another person that they're dealing with right because to be honest, the whole love journey is really about people ducking and dodging heartbreak. Nobody's trying to get hurt. Everybody's playing games as a form of defense mechanism. And it seems like that's what's being highlighted here. So I do feel like you guys have somebody who acknowledges um, your physical beauty, who acknowledges that you're exciting, who acknowledges your great personality, um, your laughter, your conversations are good. But they also feel like, you know, it's not 
um, something that you're only giving to them. Like you would have no um, problem moving on, finding someone else, some sort of energy like that. So who you are to this person is somebody that I, I feel like they're still trying to get to know. Um, I... I <sighs> I do feel the strongest energy from this person for who you are to them is this is this uh this um knight of of wands five of pentacles right now you guys are kind of mismatched it's like you both like certain things about each other but when asked to fully commit to who the both of you are um in your full true selves both of you have issues with that right they may not like that um you have moments where you get really serious and moments where um in that high priestess energy instead of communicating with them you may just pull away you may just not respond to their texts or don't call them they won't hear from you um so they're going to assume that you're doing something else mainly as an excuse for them to start doing them if that's the type of person you're dealing with a lot of you have somebody who really um, enjoys this physical connection, but you are the only person they're doing that with. However, with the five of pentacles, they aren't able to give you something more at this time. So who you are is somebody who could be very demanding of them in a energetic way, but not saying it with your words. So what they would say about this connection with you, with the judgment here, I feel like this person... Um, <sighs> Again, they feel like you're special, okay? They feel like there's something here about you that's different from others. You are a high priestess, confirmed again, right? Seeing a lot of water energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer showing up very strong in this reading. Um, there are a lot of water signs dealing with fire signs here. You guys do things incredibly different. Um, what's this judgment? It's the Queen of Pentacles. So what they would say about this connection is that you're somebody that they can rely on, right? They like that you're somebody that they can call you and you will say, come through, or they can call you and be like, hey, what you doing? Like, can I come see you? That type of vibe. That's the what I immediately pick up because this Knight of Wands needs that sort of, um, you know, I may not be consistent. I may not be um stable but whenever i pick up and and need to see you or need to be with you i i want you to be available so um a lot of you have made yourself available you know i sometimes describe the queen of pentacles as like a long suffering wife type energy not that she has to suffer but the fact of the matter is a lot of you are holding on to this person in hopes that they will see their true divine self and transform so that you guys can be together and it be a fulfilling relationship they may not know that that's what you're waiting for or that that's what you're expecting of them but i do feel like they sense that you are definitely a, re a more reliable far more reliable energy than they are and they like that about you capricorn showing up here um the page of cups <clears throat> What they would say about this connection, group one, with this page of cups here, I feel like what they would say is that they are learning to trust through you, right? So they still have trust issues. You still have trust issues. But if there's anybody that they're going to work on their trust issues with, it's going to be you. Something about you has made you um, approachable to them. Something about you, even in your mystery, even in your power as that high priestess energy, um has convinced this person that you are to a source here you are somebody who um would always give them good advice you are somebody here that will help them find their way you're dealing with somebody who is very torn about this love journey because i feel like a part of them really wants to give you their all in this two of swords and a part of them um is still not sure so mainly you're dealing with somebody who you are to them is somebody they're um overall very interested in very intrigued by but they're not sure it will work right um and i'm gonna grab some messages to, to confirm that but i do feel like this two of swords with this page of cups is what you the version of this person that you see um 
for those of you that would consider them immature or not ready, the version that you're seeing is somebody who has a level of fear, right? Um, it's been a while since they've taken things out of the friend zone with somebody with that page of cups. So it feels like any time um, it's being asked of them to go deeper, to try something different, to get out of the friend zone and go into a different relationship, it puts them on pause. Um, it's something they're a little afraid of, all right? I do pick that up. What they would say about this connection, like I said, a lot of you have been there for this person. Even when they have acted up, um, they're able to come back to you. So they're already representing you as somebody that they have some comfort, some level of comfort with. The Four of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. You guys are definitely somebody they can... Um, <clears throat> the Emperor here. You guys are definitely somebody that they can come back to. And yes... You do see divine energy in them with the emperor here, but there's also a sense of codependency. You don't want to get rid of somebody that you have this really nice, intimate connection with, and they don't want to get rid of somebody that they have this really um, reliable um, um, person in. So there's you guys are both using each other, right, for different things. Um, that's kind of how relation, right? You pour into each other. There are different things that you're both taking from each other and pouring in to each other um, that you may have both become very um, codependent on here um, the Capricorn energy with the devil so I do feel like what this person might say about this connection is that um, somebody knows that like somebody's person knows you're the only person they deal with you're, you may have even said that like you're the only person I'm with intimately I don't date people it's just you and that's why there's so much pressure on them to have that same energy towards you they definitely see that you are someone they can come back to and someone that they can build with there is comfort here they're satisfied Aries energy showing up what they would say about this connection king of swords here is um they still They still don't trust it, okay? They still don't trust what's happening here, um, mainly because, what is this King of Swords about? It's the Knight of Cups. Hmm. With Justice at the bottom, Libra, Pisces showing up. All right, so you guys are dealing with somebody where it's kind of like you're forcing them to grow up and they... Instead of them seeing the benefit of that, they may be a little bit, um, they may feel like they're becoming soft. I mean, look at this King of Swords versus this Knight of Cups energy. I feel like you're connected to somebody who what they would say about um, this connection is that, yeah, you do have something about you, that specialness about you that brings out a softness in them. And if they see you as a high priestess, then they may believe that you have bewitched them in some way, that there has been some sort of spiritual or magical work done. That's just for some of you, because I know some of you, some of you will you know, be like, that's not relatable, but for others it is. And there's an energy here that some of you have um, turned this person who has seemingly had a heart of stone towards others into somebody who is very sort of um, receptive to what you're offering as much as they try to fight it. Because um, we come, the reason why I'm, I would normally like this, OK, because this feels like somebody to me who's very sure of the feelings that they have for you. But we go into that three of swords energy for how they would, you know, what they would say about this connection. And it's almost like they're they're admitting that, you know, they can't, they haven't or they can't give you what you fully want right now. Um, there's a sadness in this connection that you guys are so compat compatible on so many levels and that they've been so stubborn. I think that's what I'm picking up from this King of Swords. They have this stubborn energy where they won't allow themselves to completely give in to what their heart feels about you. Two of Wands, there's always this push, this pull, this progress, this regression, this um, 10 steps forward, 
20 steps back, right? So I do feel like you guys have somebody who has you in some sort of a cycle and um, they may not describe it as that, but they may say, you know, with me and group one, it's kind of like a push pull. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. I really like group one. You know, I keep them around because there's somebody that I can talk to. I can rely on them. But, you know, I know that if I don't, you know, give group one what they want, as far as like maybe a commitment here that group one can go out and find somebody else that chariot ace of wands um for a lot of you this person is holding on to some sort of past betrayal that didn't even happen from you and they're sort of holding it against you why they can't move forward with you well i've been cheated on group one so if it takes me a little bit of time before i can trust somebody again you should respect that you should understand that i'm telling you something in the seven of swords four of swords was a conversation where it was kind of like um, defensive energy and, and it didn't really like go well. It could have been a solid conversation about some real stuff, but it absolutely feels like things went, took a detour, went the wrong way. Maybe you stopped talking. You, you took a break from each other, right? Some of you, you are on a break with this person right now. They don't feel like you're being honest um, about the fact that you aren't talking to somebody else or they don't feel like you're being honest about the fact that, um, you know, or they know that you really want them. You, They just know that you're pretending, right, um, as a way to be strong. Um, so this person, Pisces energy, there's two Pisces here dealing with each other. Okay, so there's a lot of intuitive energy on both sides here um, between you two. But I do feel like this is somebody who would say about this connection. It's not been easy. I'm still trying to decide what I want to do with this two of wands. Um, you know, do I want to go through this? Right. Are we going to be able to improve things? So Pisces energy is very strong. Dreaming of you even shows up for what this person would say about you, this connection. Um, they could be honest and say they have dreams about you. Um, I believe that this person, um, you know, you guys have had a date night recently or you had a date night where maybe that conversation took place. There's something significant that's playing in this person's mind where it was just the two of you. And um, I feel like they replay that, right? The love making aspect. They don't want to let you go because you're reliable, but you are also somebody that they may have their best physical intimate experience with. And so that's something that this person person really feels like they um have has kept them around for a long time there's a lot of fire here too we got a king of wands somebody here is dealing with a leo a leo masculine energy right um and i feel like this person what they would say about you in this connection is that they do value you but you don't feel you still don't feel valued okay um let me see what messages come through from this person what they would say about you to others if asked i miss you so very much yeah so what i was picking up with that four of swords there is a hiatus between some of you here and the person you're connected to they're missing you right now okay um this may relate for some of you who just re um received the message of are they missing you right um this is more confirmation that this person is really missing you right now and they want to find a way back into your space without compromising themselves too much. This King of Swords really does care about you. This King of Swords actually may more than care about you, but this King of Swords also feels like um, they're overthinking sort of what relationships are and the vulnerability level that's expected of them. And it feels like they don't want to get played, but they're also playing games with you. So um, I feel like this person, who you are to them, the stress of this connection is getting to me. Who you are to them is somebody that um, they're like, I just can't do it right now, right? It's kind of that energy of, I see that we could have something. I just don't know if I want that right now. Um, what other messages are coming through? I have, I thought I could move on, but I can't. That's what I'm saying. This person cannot move on from you. There's a codependency here. Some of you may not like it to like to hear it described as that, but there's literally a couple here, a connection here where you guys are physically bound to each other. And that's kind of what keeps you here, right? 
What if you spend time away from each other and there's nothing you can do but dream of each other, right? You might see things deeper. You might have to go in um, inside a little bit more to realize, you know, um, do I actually love this person or do I actually love how this person makes me feel, right? So I feel like you've both been dreaming about each other. This person, I feel, would be honest about that. I think they would be honest about the fact that they miss you if asked. I think they would tell people, look, I like group one. I, I thought I could move on. Right. I've been trying because I'm so stressed out with group one, but I don't feel like I can move on. Right. Um, I feel like a lot of you have somebody who may be coming back wanting to have some sort of a um, a night with you. Uh, they may be thinking of Valentine's Day and planning something. The two of wands is a planning energy. Some of them have already said I should plan something for group one. And then they threw that idea in the trash because they're afraid that you won't accept it. Or they're afraid that that means that they'll be pressured to go to the next level with you. Because let's face it, if they do something special for you, if they bring you gifts, if they cook you dinner, if they, you know, do something nice, a lot of you may be expecting to see what comes after that. And some of them feel like they're going to disappoint you because they're not ready to do that just yet. Right. But they do want to keep you close in the meantime. So it definitely feels like who you are to this person for right now is a situation where, yes, they could be with you but they're deciding not to at this time. And it feels like they would say about you that you're somebody that they like, but you guys have a lot of uh, problems and, and, sh and rifts in this connection that haven't been solved. And neither of you really um, know how to like deal with the other because there are some opposite energies here for sure. Okay, not a lot of you are in alignment with the person you're connected to. That's what I do pick up, okay? So that is what I have for you, group one. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Hello, group two. It is the Sun Sage. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to your next pick a card reading. This reading is what would they say? Okay. What would this person say about you if asked? What would they say about the connection you guys have with each other? What would they say? Okay. Um, also, to gauge who you are to them. All right. So I, I did pick that energy up for group one and I'm going to see what, what we can get for who you are to this person, right? What you mean to them. So let's get started. Um, group two, you guys have the, oh, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. All right. So you guys have the Dalmatian Jasper. All right. And you have the Tarot de la Nuit. Okay, so I am, um, yeah, I'm going to grab a few messages, but I'm going to start with the tarot messages to see um, what this person would say about you. Okay, all right, so let's see, group one, what would the person you are connected to, the person I am channeling, say about you? What would they say if asked about you? Who are you to them? What would they say? I have the four of wands. All right. What would they say, group two? The knight of pentacles. Uh, eight of pentacles. I already see what you guys are to them. All right. So let's see what we have here. Yeah. Three of wands. Um... Page of Pentacles. So you guys are dealing with somebody who I feel like you guys have good boundaries. This could be you right here and what you mean to them. Somebody who has encouraged them to step their game up. Somebody who has forced them to fight for you, right? Um, I don't know if you guys watched Scandal um, back in the day, but if you remember that episode where she was like, earn me, right? When they were arguing and she was like, earn me. So some of you here feel like this person would say that you, you know, they're having to earn you here, right? They can't just have it easy with you. Even if it was that way, at some point in your relationship, there's an acknowledgement from your person that 
they have to take these steps in order to be in your life. And it feels like they are willing to take them to be with you. So let's keep going. I want to get some more energy so we can see what's going on here. What would they say about this connection with you? If asked or two, what would they say? Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. I already saw it. All right. What would they say about you, group two? I mean, what would they say about this connection? If asked, the moon. All right, so they know they have to earn your cup of love. Um, some of you, for those of you that haven't been intimate with them, they know they have to earn that intimacy. For those of you that have um, not been intimate them, intimate with them for a long time or some time, they know they have to earn you. Seven of Cups here for what they would say about this connection. The King of Swords. All right, what would they say about this connection? Yeah, Two of Pentacles. So you guys are giving them a run for their money. OK, I feel like that's exactly how they would describe this connection as um, it's it's not easy at all. Right. Um, this isn't some sort of conquest that they can easily maneuver. There are some challenges here that you have created with these boundaries that I feel like you stuck beside. And I feel like this person is acknowledging that if they want you, they have to earn you. Um, and they may not know where they stand with you right now. There's a lot of confusion, a lot of, lot of, a lot of confusion and how they feel about this connection, right? It's a little blurry, but, um, they know what they have to do. Okay. They know what they have to do. This is for those of you dealing with somebody who hasn't done those steps just yet, who hasn't, um, started this process yet. All right. So what else do we have? I'm going to get some main things to see what we have coming through. For who you could be to them. Pictures of you. Alright. Uh, what would they say? They fell in love with your pictures. Okay. In the dark. Yep. We see the moon here. We got this dark seven of cups here. So it's very clear. You guys are um, playing it close to the vest right now. You're not letting them in on anything <clears throat> that you got going on. Past life. Alright. So some of you, this person would actually describe you as a soulmate, okay? They would actually say, some of you might be married, okay? I am going to say I picked that up. There's a couple, like a committed connection here for a lot of you. Um, Some of you are committed to this person. And um, there may be times, you know, where you guys are not on the same page. There's a little bit of confusion. Um, Communication isn't the greatest. We are in Mercury retrograde. But I do feel like this person sees you, group two, as a soulmate, somebody that they would share many lives with, somebody that they feel very comfortable with, um, and they don't really see anyone outside of you, okay? So the four of wands here for what they would say about you, if as you represent stability to them, okay? You represent someone solid, someone who has had their back and been down for, for them. Um, they, your loyalty has been tested. I feel like you have come to this person's aid many a time, okay? You have taken this person back possibly many a times, but this four of wands is about a stable person, somebody who is emotionally capable of dealing with the type of person you could be dealing with, right? So we have the five of cups. I, I have some of these and I'm not doing reversals, but I just realized I have the um, deck turned. So, um, this is confirming, you know, that this person misses you. I will say that for those of you, this person hasn't started, you know, that process of coming towards you or taking action. This five of cups in reverse can be this person, um, still being somewhat stubborn, still not accepting accountability for their actions and it needing to take a little bit more pain. Okay. On their end for them to see, you know, that, that if this is something that they want, they have to fight for you. But for most of you, you do have somebody who regrets that they weren't as solid as you or loyal as you in the past, right? They haven't given you that reciprocal sort of stable energy. They've actually come off as really emotionally unstable. So they feel like you're a grounding force in their life. They feel like you are someone who has helped them come a long way. You've aided them in many ways. Some of you have provided this person with a place to stay. They will say that, yeah, I stay with group two sometimes or Group, group two welcome me to, to live with them. Um, or again, some of y'all are just couples and y'all already live together, right? But I do feel the sense of, you know, 
I want things to be the way they used to be between us. I want to feel how we used to feel about each other. Just looking at pictures of you, these memories that we have, it makes me um, nostalgic for the old days or something like that. So this person, if asked about you, I think they would make it very clear that you are very special and meaningful to them. Okay. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, again, that solid energy. You know, you guys have been with this person in the trenches, right? Um, I, I feel like you guys are dealing with somebody who recognizes the work that you have done to, um, you know, invest in them and help them. And, and now you want to see it reciprocated. So you guys have a very serious energy about you. There's a lot of earth signs here. Um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, what is this? Knight of Pentacles. It's the Ace of Wands. Yeah, what they would say about you, for a lot of you, I feel like they'll say they knew they wanted to be with you the moment they met you. So something about this Ace of Wands in the beginning, at the start of this, they knew they wanted to invest and build here. They didn't need a lot of time to figure this out. It was kind of clear to them, especially if they're an earth sign. There's a lot of earth energy hermit here. So particularly if you're dealing with an earth sign, they already knew from the very beginning that they wanted to be with you. Some of you, all they had to do was see your pictures on social media. Then they DM'd you or something and they were like, I'm going to make that my wife, my husband, my partner, that sort of energy. So you're connected to somebody who recognizes your value. And when I say that, it's not just saying they recognize your value when it sounds good. No, this is somebody who sees that there's not a lot of group twos out here, right? This is somebody who understands that if I'm going to achieve this le a level of, of success and accomplishment in my life, it's quite beneficial to have a group two <laughs> right there next to me. So some of you are that loyal partner. Some of you are that um, person that, you know, any person would be proud to have. And I feel like if asked, this person would say you're their one, you're the one for them. Um, you're their person. Well, you know, whatever, how they would say it, right? Um, eight of pentacles. Some of you knew this person for a very long time. Um, so that's why you guys have like this history and kind of these ups and downs and you've sort of triumphed over the downs, but they definitely would say about you that, um, you put a lot into what you love, okay? You put a lot into what you love, the people that you love. Yep, the queen of pentacles. You could be the head of your family. Everybody comes to you for money, advice. You know, people know that you are sort of like the leader of your inner circle or you're the, the maternal one in your family or something like that, right? Um, you don't even have to have children of your own, but you are certainly representative of somebody who has included, um, made everyone feel uh, loved and made everyone feel special and important. So this person would describe you, some of you, yeah, you're married. So they're going to say, that's my wife. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, or that's my partner. Um, others of you, if you're committed, they still may say that's my wife, right? You may not be legally married, but that's how they view you, right? You guys have lived together for eight years or for a very long time. You've been dealing with each other for a very long time. They don't really want anybody else, but sometimes they have a hard time getting themselves together. Um, Capricorn energy, more earth energy showing up, but I do feel like this is a connection that um, has been built over time. Um, it's been strengthened over time. And if there's some sort of divide right now between you and this person, they're not getting anything from anyone else. Um, particularly, they're not getting the same love. They're not getting that same devotion. It's just not happening anywhere else the same way that it happens when it, when they're with you. So the three of wands, those of you that are in separation, your person is ready to see you again. Um, they want to start planning, you know, when can we meet up? When can we, you know, start getting, you know, start figuring this thing out for those of you who are having a rough time with each other. Um, this person definitely wants to be with you, right? And I feel like they're thinking of ways to, um, try to get you out, try to get you, um, uh, um, interested. Nine of Pentacles. They, <laughs> they will, they will definitely compliment you. You got somebody who would definitely compliment you and your value. Okay. Um, they may not feel the need to tell people how banging you are physically, right? You're sexy, you're this, but, there's something about what they see of you character-wise, personality-wise, that 
matters more to them because that's why all of these pentacles are here, right? Sure, you're attractive, but also you're an amazing person on the inside. And so I feel like a lot of you are dealing with people who see your value because of who you represent um, on the inside as well as on the outside. And that's very clear. This person respects you. This nine of pentacles with this three of wands, it's like you don't need the person you're connected to. Um, you definitely want them in your life. You definitely have a connection here. There's a strong um, relationship here for a lot of you. But there's also something here about at any moment, if you had to be on your own, if you had to exist on this world in your in your own space with your own money, with your own um everything that you've built on your own, you could do it, right? So this person knows that you're not codependent, right? They're actually seeing it now for those of you that are um g giving them an example of how independent you can be by not calling them back, by you know, leaving them on block for a while. Um this person is definitely getting that information that, you know, you're you're one of a kind here okay definitely one of a kind lots of pentacles page of pentacles here they will say that they've learned from you right who you are to them some of you have a child with this person um so they would say that you know they've learned a lot about you over the years you've been very instrumental in their own growth all right yeah you mean a lot to them queen of cups so who you are to them is you're their person, okay? I'm confident saying that with a lot of you. You you are their person, okay? You made them believe in love. You made them trust you. Um, there's no indecision about feelings for you when it comes to this person. Um, I, you know, that, that comes through a lot in messages, but there's a lot here about how well they would compliment you. Um, a lot of you are, are great cooks, right? Um, for what they would say about you if asked. Um, you take care of your, your hearth and home. There's a, a very maternal, emotional, intuitive message coming through that that's who you guys represent to them. Somebody they can trust, somebody they can rely on your intuition, your advice, your opinion. You're not going to steer them in the wrong way. You're not manipulative. You're not a liar. You're not greedy, right? You're a giver. So I do feel like this person would say those things. They would be very complimentary of your character. And also, um, you know, those of you who have built with this person, or you already know this person would say these things about you because you you may have heard it yourself. Right. Um, You know, how would you describe your partner? How would you describe your soulmate? And they've said some of these things. Right. This is one of the best people I've ever met. You're influential. You know, you help a lot of people. You have a great heart, especially whenever I see like the queens, the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups. You're just a really giving, nurturing, loving, kind person. OK. And I feel like that's who you represent to them. So what your person would say about this connection again you're like their first love or their only love or something like that. But there's something about this ace that represents something different from other types of connections, right? There's something um, that always feels refreshing and healing about the love that you have in this connection. So they feel loved by you for sure. Even if you're mad at them right now, even if you guys are not talking to each other, they definitely feel the love that comes from you. The seven of wands here, they've had to work really hard to prove their love to you. Um, I feel like they've had to work really hard to show that they can be reciprocal um, with you. Okay. This is somebody who um, recognizes your worth and sees that they need to step it up a bit. All right. They need to step it up a lot. <laughs> with the seven of pentacles. I mean, the seven of wands energy here, they're ready to fight. OK, they're ready to fight for this. Um, I feel like some of them have already, you know, for the most part, I feel like you guys are dealing with people who have been a little more consistent lately, a little more um, um, active lately as far as showing you what you mean to them with the seven of wands. See, if I said seven of pentacles, I know I did um, seven of pentacles. Sorry, this is the seven of wands. So that's an energy of definite having to prepare to come back to you and you know, trying to pull out all the stops. Some of you, I will say a bit of a spoiler alert. Some of you have somebody who's thinking of pulling out all the stops for you for Valentine's Day with the magician here 
touching your heart, your soul, doing something special for you, writing a song and picking up. Others of you, this person is building you something with the seven of wands. Others of you, this person, you know, you don't like their mom or something. You, you, you got into it with a family member. They're, you know, prioritizing you over that family member. For those of you in that situation, there's a fight here that they're willing to, to take on, right? They're not afraid um, of what they feel for you. Too often in these readings, we pick up on energies that people are afraid of what they feel. And I don't feel like you're dealing with somebody like that. They could be a water sign. Um, they don't have to be, but I do feel a lot of energy of this person being receptive and letting things flow as they will, not resisting it. So the moon tells me that there's a little bit of confusion about where you guys are in this connection right now, right? Um, and that happens even with married couples. Okay. Yeah. You're going to have your moments. Um, two of swords. This is a turning point. This is a, this is a moment of truth. Right. This will be a determining factor in whether you guys reconcile soon or not. Some of you are seeing this person in three weeks. OK, there is some sort of Valentine's Day plan here from your person. All right. Because this is about reunion and reconciliation. And it's also about a specific date. So the third of February could be important for you. Three weeks, three days, something like that is happening very soon with you and the person that you love because you are right now in the midst of a turning point in your relationship where things cannot stay the same. There has to be some communication, some clarity to make sense of things and to figure out what your future will be together. And I feel like, you know, we go through a seven of cups and then we'll get to that uh, king of swords. But yeah, right now it's going to be a little, you know, some of you are um not believing this message disillusioned with the seven of cups. I don't believe you, son, because how things have been, right? I, I, I it's hard for me to believe that is the seven of cups. It's very difficult to believe, right? Um, it feels like an illusion. Um, there's the three of cups actually coming out, confirming. It's almost like the energy is saying, no, believe this. You will see your lover very soon. There will be a re reunion. There will be a reconciliation. You will talk this out. You will get this together. You'll feel so much better. Six of wands at the bottom of the deck when you guys both have this moment. So you're connected to somebody who would describe this connection as right now. It's a little bit, you know, we, we're, we're staying away from each other or we're trying not to get on each other's nerves, you know, any more than we already have. But I really do. I'm ready to come back to you. Um, this connection is far too important for them to let sort of fade. OK, your person is not letting that happen. King of Swords. All right. This feels like um, what they would say about your connection is that you guys are used to talking your issues through. You guys are used to clearing the air with each other. There's not a lot of room for um sort of miscommunication or misunderstandings because you guys probably both feel very comfortable talking to each other about your feelings and your thoughts, what works for you, what's not working for you. So I do feel like they would be honest about that. Again, the hangman confirms that, okay, something's a little different, right? We're used to talking things out. We're used to clearing things up fairly quickly, but there's a pause, you know, recently, whatever we had going on, there's something different about the energy. Again, we're in Mercury retrograde, so communication could just be really difficult for you guys right now. There's a lot of misunderstandings. There are things happening that you're not seeing the full story. So there there will be couples here who you believe that your person was cheating on you, right? There's somebody here who believes their person was more than friends with somebody that they work with. There's a lot of assumptions taking place at this time. So what the hangman is saying is that, look, now may not be the best time for action, but that communication is coming soon. And your person is even acknowledging that in this situation, what they would say about it is that I know we're going to talk. I know we're going to get back right. However, right now, I'm just going to chill. I'm going to let the situation unfold and group two will see the truth or I'll be able to express my truth to group two. All right. So two of pentacles here for how they would describe, I mean, or what they would um say about this connection here. I feel like you mean a whole lot to them regarding that question of who you are to them, group two. 
It's been confirmed. There's a lot of pentacles here um, describing the meaningful nature of your connection and who you are in their life. The king of wands, okay? More dominant energy, more energy about, um, you know, at some point, very soon, I'm going to get my person. I'm going to get my group too, right? Um, how they would describe this connection. Somebody's asking them right now, how are things with you in group two, right? With that two of pentacles, what's going on? I know you guys were having a little bit of a tough time and they're like, oh, I'm gonna give group two their space. I'm giving group two their time. Um, you know, things aren't, you know, the best right now, but okay, that king of wands, but I got something planned for Valentine's Day, something they won't be able to deny, right? Something too big to sort of ignore here. So I do feel like, um, especially if you have a fire sign, this person is very confident about what they have to offer you, group two, and it feels like they're coming back strong. They're not just coming back. They're coming back very strong here. Um, Pisces energy, Aquarius is here, Capricorn. Leo, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, all right? So pictures of you, yeah. In the meantime, <laughs> you know, this person would, I feel, be very honest. Um, Similar to group one, when they got the King of Swords, I feel like they would be very honest. Yeah, sometimes when I'm missing group two real bad, I look at their pictures, right? Some energies might not want to admit that, but they're admitting it to someone, all right? Pictures of you are what console them and get them through any sort of separation or any sort of tough times um, in the dark. There's a lot of darkness right now, but in your connection, there's a lot of moments where you feel like, is this over? Um, are we going to get through this? And I do feel like you will, but this is just one of those moments where you, you get through it, right? That's what the hangman says. This is not the best time to take action, but at some point you're going to get your epiphany, your light bulb moment will happen and that will be the time to seize the moment. So I feel like that's more on your person's end. They're waiting for the right time to seize the moment. I feel like they're the ones coming through with the passionate action and the communication towards you. Um, you feel like you're more of in an empress energy where you're just focused on things going on around you, especially if this person isn't near you at this time. You're really putting your focus into your self-care and into your family, into, you know, your home. So past life here. I feel like a lot of you have somebody who knows you are their soulmate. Yeah, there's an acknowledgement. A lot of you are dealing with an, uh, an elevated, ascended person who does know that you are their soulmate too. All right, so let's grab some messages, all right, that could be coming through. What would they say about you if asked group two? What would they say about you? What would they say about this connection? Who are you to them? Yep, you are my future. You're my past, you're my present, you're my future. The present is a little iffy right now because we're not communicating in our clearest way, but this person is not seeing a future without you. All right, you are my future. What else is coming through? I do love you. Okay. More confirmation group two. For those of you, um, and some of you are dealing with somebody who would say about this connection, yeah, group two just doesn't believe that I love them. Group two doesn't understand that I don't express my love the same way. There's something, there's a reason why you're confused, right? The seven of cups. There's a reason why it's not clear to you, right? What this person feels for you. And I think even they would admit that, right? And so even in this, I do love you, this feels like, look, I know that I don't show it all the time. I know that I don't say it all the time, but I do love you. All right. Um, so lots of soulmates here. Lots of people who will be together in the long term in this group. Um, I see the pain I've caused you, sure. This is someone who is holding themselves accountable. This king of swords. This is somebody who knows that if they want you, they have to fight for you. Back to that original message. You are the prize. And they must do their part to win you over. 
or win you over again. Okay, so that is what I have for you, group two. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, make sure you check out the details in the description box. Hello, group three. It is the Sun Sage back to do another pick a card for you all. This pick a card reading is who are you to them? What would they say if asked about you? What would they say about this connection if asked about it? So this is for those of you connecting to someone and you want to know how they would describe what they feel for you, their connection with you, how they would describe you. All right. Um, who are you to them? I've been able to pick that up in the first two readings who, you know, um, those groups represent to their person. So we're going to do the same here. All right. So I hope you are ready to receive the message that comes through. So let's start with the crystal. You selected the septarian here. All right. The septarian and you have the dark wood tarot. All right. So I'm going to grab a few messages for you guys. Um, from this person, I'm going to start with um, what they would say about you if asked, right? Some met some energies that will come through. What this person would say about you, group three, if asked, and and um, what you mean, to, who you are to them, and what you mean to them, okay? So for group three, if I've called you group two, sorry, you're group three. All right, so for group three, what would this person say about group three? What would they say if asked about group three? All right. I have temperance. Okay. What would this person say if asked about group three? Here. What do we have? I have the star. All right. What would this person say if asked about group three? What would this person say if asked about group three? All right. I have the five of pentacles. Okay. What would this person say if asked about group three? I have the eight of cups. Okay. So who are you to them? What would they say if asked about you? I'm going to do that again. Who are you to them? Group three. What would they say if asked about you? We have the moon. Okay. Okay. Um, what do we have for what would group three's person say if asked about this connection they're in? Um, the ace of pentacles. All right. What would this person say if asked about this connection they're in with you? We have strength. All right. What would this person say? We have the queen of swords if asked about the connection they have with you here. Um, okay. Um, I'm not going to keep those, but the chariot was there. Um, what would they say? Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles. These cards are all over the place. And what else do we have? Or what would they say if asked about the connection with group three? What would they say? Nine of Cups. With the sun at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> all right. So Leo energy is here. We also have Aquarius, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer. All right. So let's see. Let's get some more messages. What would this person say? Who are you to them? Group three. What would this person say if asked about you? In the dark. All right. Some of you have not gone public with this person and it shows. <laughs> okay. We have like the moon here in the dark. All right. What would they say? True love. There you go. All right. So that will be confirmation for a lot of you. Um, what would they say if asked about you in this connection group three? Um, mixed messages. Yep. Definitely seeing that as well. Um, so you guys do have somebody who gives you mixed signals. Okay. It's here. You definitely have somebody who has a way of making you feel like they love you one minute and being very detached the next. All right. So this person does give mixed messaging here. Um, I don't even think they would deny it. Not with this Queen of Swords energy, right? How they would describe this connection. I don't even think that they would deny that they give off warmth to you, affection to you, love to you, and then they pull away. 
So let's get into the why of it and who you are to them. So temperance, you guys have somebody who sees you as very peaceful and very calming. So if asked about you, I feel like they would say glowing things about you, right? Um, they would say that you are in a balanced place in your life. You have it all together, right? Whether that's true or not, or if you guys would say that about yourselves or not, that's certainly something this person would say that could be seen as a compliment, right? Um, you know, I just feel like if asked about you, I, I'm picking up those of you, this person gets a big smile on their face. I mean, we got the temperance and the star together. So I'm picking up someone who gets a smile on their face, who has nothing but good things to say in this temperance energy, who has nothing but good feelings for you, good vibes about you. I think that's one of the things they would say. You just have a good vibe about you. They trust you with temperance. Um, emperor, nice. OK, so, yeah, they feel like you have your life all together, mainly because they see you as this very powerful person who is in charge and in control of your life. Some of you have a bigger than life personality that will come out when this person is talking about you or if asked about you, they would say those things. Right. Some of you are like a Sagittarius and Aries. So if asked that that may be the first thing that comes out. Right. Oh, they're Aries. And then, you know, whatever else comes after that. But I do feel like you have somebody who recognizes recognizes your bold nature is is well balanced with a peaceful side of yourself right even for those of you that would consider yourself maybe extroverts or outgoing you're still like a hard worker you still find time for self maintenance and self care and quiet time so i feel like if asked about you this person would actually say really amazing things about um, not just your work ethic, cause that shows up here too, but also like the amount of peace that you've brought to them too. Like you, you're not about the drama here. And I feel like, um, you meet, you, you're very peaceful. So you mean a lot to them is in that you've brought some level of stability in their life, right? They may have been all over the place and, and you calmed them down somewhat with temperance. So the star, all right. Um, I will say with the emperor too, for a lot of you, some of you, um, your person may, whether they say you're their divine counterpart, this is divine energy. So they may say you are their divine person or you're something that to hint that you are their person. Um, okay. So let's see why we have the star here. The star tells me, especially with the temperance, um, for what they would say about you is you have really helped this person a lot. Okay. You've made, it's something about your energy that has made them feel good, better about themselves. That's increased their confidence. That's made them feel worthy. That's made them feel special justice here. They may feel like they deserve you, right? They may feel like, you know, after so many negative relationships or so many years of dealing in relationships where I was not compatible with the person. They feel very compatible with you. All right. Libra energy again, Aquarius energy again. This person feels very, very peaceful with you. They almost feel like you rescued them or you saved them from a really rough period in their life. Um, I feel like there's gratitude here showing up. We'll get to it, but I do feel like this person feels like this connection is destined to be. Okay. So what they would say about you is that you're the divine partner that they're destined to be with. We do have true love over here. I'll get more into that, but you, you have somebody who's definitely recognizing the strength and the strong energies that show up in what they feel for you. And they're most likely noticing, I haven't felt this way about anybody else, right? Group three is the person that gives me those energies and I haven't, that's what I've been lacking. So five of pentacles for how you would describe them. This is where the mixed messaging comes in. So a lot of you don't feel what I've just described for how this person, what this person would say about you if asked. So there's an, an acknowledge, acknowledgement here from this person with the five of pentacles that they have given you less than what you deserve. Even if you've given them well over what they feel they are deserving of, they they know that they've given you less, right? And so they also feel like they're missing out on parts of you that are very giving and very loving and, and um, very generous because they know that they haven't really earned that trust in you just yet. They know that they haven't really earned you, you know, giving them maybe birthday gifts, Christmas gifts. Maybe you're very thoughtful and you really want to do that, but you can't until you know that there's something real here. So they picked up on that. 
They know that you want to do more. They know that you hold back. <laughs> All right. So five of pentacles. What would they say about you if asked? Who are you to them? All right. The moon again. Pisces energy, cancer um, energy for me. Um, I do feel like this person recognizes that um, who you are to them is somebody that they've made very sad. Okay. Over your time knowing each other. You're somebody that they have disappointed more than once. You are someone that they have let down too often. Okay. So who you are to them, especially with the temperance and the star is despite those things, you know, them letting you down and them not really, um, living up to this fantastical ver version of themselves that you see that they may not see in themselves just yet. Um, They still want you. They still want to try with you, right? Um, you do have someone who has fallen short. All right. And who you are to them is definitely someone who motivates them or tries to motivate them. Um, but I also feel like sometimes when you get tired of that and sometimes when you feel like you deserve more, you do take your energy away. Um, they may even say that, you know, sometimes you give them mixed messages, um, mixed messages, you know, we're in, uh, what Mercury retrograde there. Are, uh, what I think, um, is Venus direct. That's our love space. So there are a couple of things retrograde right now. And there's been some things happening that, tr that test the true, <laughs> you know, compatibility of people in this energy. But I do feel like, you know, they feel like they get mixed messages from you, like you're all in and then you pull your energy away. They may not realize just yet it is because they fall short and you can't keep investing in someone that falls short. But I do feel like this person would describe you as a mystery and someone that they know has a lot more to give, but that you're purposely holding back to see what they give first, something like that. All right. So the eight of cups confirming that. All right. A lot of you have um, had moments where you have made it clear to this person. I'm not happy not satisfied. I know there's so much more you can do. There's so much more you can give here and you're not doing it. I need time alone. I need to be away mostly for yourself, right? That self-care energy that I pick up. You are somebody who has to take care of self. You're very strong. Okay. That emperor coming through is very clear. You're used to being the strong one. You're used to being super tough. You deal with things, you know, no matter what's thrown at you, thrown at you, but you do need moments where you can just be vulnerable. Okay. So I do feel like this person would say something um, if asked about you, like they give their all to people. They deplete themselves. They're so caring and so emotionally invested and involved in people. And sometimes I wish group three would just do more for themselves. Magician. Sometimes I wish group three would just, you know, for some of them, you know, um, they may at times feel like you deserve better than them. Um, so who you are to them, way out of their league, okay, group three, way out of their league, number one, but, you know, for those of you making it work or who have hopes of making it work with this person, um, there are still things about each other that you have to understand and learn about each other. The moon confirms that your person knows that they've stopped themselves short of getting to know you deep, deep, deep on a deeper level. Sure. They may know a lot about you. Sure. They may know your favorite color, favorite food, stuff like that. But, um, there are other things that I feel like you guys really need this person to understand about you. The five of cups here, another five. No. Did we have a five of cups? No, we have the five of pentacles. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, listen, this person knows they've made you sad. They know it. They know that they've hurt you. Um, what they would say about you is that sometimes they don't see why you even still want them. Okay. Who you are to them is out of their league is what it is. But I do feel like this person is still holding on. Whereas in group one, I picked up holding on for more of a physical, intimate, sexual nature. This person holds on because you're like their emotional, uh, uh, 
float. You're their sort of strength here. You're their, their reason, their motivation. So this person definitely realizes that they have done some things that have hurt you. They've said some things that have been mixed messaging regarding how they feel about you. I think you do feel that there's true love here genuinely. And I think that they feel that as well genuinely that you guys have a true love here um that's not c the confusing part the confusing part is why haven't they proposed right or something like that why haven't they committed yet so there is confusion here they're confused too i'm gonna be honest um they don't even know like how to make how to make this happen for real so a lot of you like i said when you're when i'm saying you're out of their league we usually think about in a looks way or in a how much you have versus how much they have this is literally somebody who is not on your level um as far as your your ascended self and they're trying to play catch up and they're having a really hard time staying consistent, okay? So even when they do have those moments where you feel super loved by them and you feel like they're listening to you and, oh, things are about to get better, there's something in them where that's not sustainable so that they backtrack, they fall away from that energy. So I think that they would speak of you in the highest regard and let people know that you're very important to them, okay? The emperor, very important person. Um, you're the VIP, right, in their life. You're their main person, but you are also somebody that has challenged them to go deeper inside themselves so that they can truly experience this love with you and they haven't really met you there yet okay so what this person would say about this connection is that there's an excitement about the the nature of it okay they do feel like this is a seed being planted between you two right now that this is something that is going to grow over time something that that is going to turn into something beautiful with a wonderful foundation you guys are going to start small but you're going to build super big so they have high hopes you know i do pick that up from this person um they have a lot of expectations of where this relationship is headed with you so if asked what they would say about this connection is it's just the beginning right i'm looking forward to our future together my future with group three it feels very promising ten of wands though that's a lot of pressure on this person right knowing that this small seed can turn into living together kids together family stuff um investments together and that's a lot of pressure on somebody who feels so emotionally weak at times all right, with the moon and the um, five of cups, I think you expose their emotional weakness to them because you are so solid and stable and you are so peaceful and calm and they want to know how do you do it, right? They know that they are emotionally not as centered and grounded as you and that they even sometimes are so uncentered and ungrounded that they pull out this um, instability in you, right? Something that you've already worked on in yourself. So sometimes I think they do respect when you're not not talking to them it's not like they're like where's group three how come i haven't heard from group three i think they understand you know group three needs to get their power back right from dealing with me because i emotionally depleted them so much and because i took so much out of them without giving it any of it back um they do realize that you're the stronger partner right and that even the talk of new beginnings and building for the future is very stressful on them right it's not stressful on you you can handle it Okay, but it's stressful on them. So they would describe this connection as, look, the pressure's on for me, right? I already know what group three is expecting. I kind of know what I expect of myself when I'm dealing with group three, but can I handle it? Okay. So sometimes in the Ten of Wands energy, we see someone struggling. We see someone who is going up a hill with a bunch of wands. We see somebody, you know, coming out of a situation with a bunch of wands, right? It can vary, but the energy is the same. It is something that it's a lot to handle, right? It doesn't mean it can't be handled. It doesn't mean that those burdens can't be set down and you take on a more peaceful, calm approach to your challenges, but it just means that your person gets very overwhelmed very quickly. Um, emotionally, at least strength. All right. So what they would say if asked about this connection is how strong it is between you guys, how strong the bond is, right? How you guys haven't given up on each other just yet. Those of you who've been dealing with this person for a long time already know that that's something that would come out of their mouth, right? That this is a very strong connection. Again, this doesn't feel negative or codependent necessarily to me, even though there are some elements of that with the emotional aspect. For group one, I picked up a lot of, you know, I want to keep you around for my reasons 
reasons and I know you're keeping me around for your reasons. For you guys, I do feel like you guys are matched here in love and energies. Strength is just your stronger, like handling the emotional aspects of this, right? This person has abandonment issues and maybe you don't or you've worked through those um, or you're better at working through those than they are. Three of pentacles here. Yep. Working through. So um, what they would say, <laughs> you know, and some of you may question this, but I think your person would really say if asked about this connection, it just works for me, right? It just works. We just get along. We Again, that strong bond. Um, you know, some of you are like, what? You know, this person is out of their mind, but they like what you bring to their life and they recognize it as valuable and beneficial to them. Even if you have a hard time pointing out their beneficial traits to you and what they do in your life, this person definitely sees it in your life. Um, I mean, or what you bring to their life. So yeah, I do feel like there are connections here where you've been dealing with this person for some time. You've overcome everything from third parties to somebody who's overworked and always busy, never having time for you. Some of you have overcome things like this person doesn't open up enough. So a lot of you have somebody who's like, look, we gotten through this, 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 and this. We can get through anything, right? Um, and a lot of that is you are the battery, the fuel, the power source of this relationship as proved by the fact that you are the emperor. And that is how they would describe you. But again, your strength empowers them. You have something they need, right? And maybe you guys are so used to being strong and always having to be tough, but there's a vulnerability from them that you can take from, right? There's something about them and how they do things and process things where you can actually learn from. It may feel like a weakness to you at times. Oh, they're not ready for me or they're not ready for this. Well, maybe you guys switch energies, right? Maybe you guys learn from each other, right? They need to be tougher. You need to be softer, something like that. So... <clears throat> The three of pentacles is all about working together. And I feel like this person would say about this connection, if asked, it just works. It just works. Queen of swords, what they would say about this connection, if asked, and who you are to them. Listen, for a lot of you, this person would say group three is my true love. Or I feel like I'm experiencing love for the first time dealing with group three. Right? The five of wands here. Yes, it's been challenging. Yes, group three has had moments of where they had to cut me off, you know, where they had to leave me alone, where they had to be straight with me and tell me I'm not living up to the expectation, right? You've been, you've been blunt with them at times. They feel like they can rely on getting honesty from you, even if they don't like hearing it, even if they sort of shrink when they hear it and it makes them question their value. And um, I, I do feel like this person respects you. There are too many messages here. The Emperor Justice, Queen of Swords. I think they know that you've treated them very fairly, right? You've given them fair chances. You've been very sort of forgiving. I'm picking that up with strength and, and this Queen of Swords as well. A forgiving energy. You're strong enough to forgive somebody who has let you down um, more than once. And I do feel like the Five of Wands is representing a sense of triumph, right? I'm not going to um, give up on this relationship, right? It's easy to just stop talking to each other. Um, but I don't want to deal with easy. I want a challenge, right? I want to be, um, I want to prove, right? That, that this, like there's something your person is saying is that they know that they're going through a trial period with you where they're having to prove themselves and it at times is very overwhelming for them and they want to give up. But the fact that we sort of end this message of what they would say about this connection with the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups shows that you are clearly the person that they want to be with and that's why they haven't given up and that's why they're here and that's why they, sh they still show up even though they don't feel they're best at times right um so i do feel like you guys have somebody who um what they would say if asked about this connection is that you're you're home to them you're family to them some of you may be committed i got justice here i got ten of pentacles here right some of you there are those of you who are with this person like this is your for life person and um you know, I, I just feel like they know that you are their true love. This King of Wands, I believe, has come out in every single group. 
So, um, I do feel Leo energy very strongly in this group. I also feel heavy, um, masculine energy that is needing to be stronger emotionally and not just physically, not just, um, in the bravado way. There has to be real strength here, right? Um, unafraid to show their emotions, unafraid to um, be clear with you and others about what they feel for you. Stop giving these mixed messages. That takes a lot of strength to do. And this person really, I feel, is um, what they're saying about this connection is they hold on because there's something here, right? They hold on because you mean something to them. They hold on because you're family. You're their soulmate. All right. And they just want to be as strong and protective of you as it feels like you've been of them. All right. Um, with this 10 of pentacles and there are some earth and fire signs here for sure. Um, there's a lot of fire covering the earth or earth covering the fire. So however that resonates for you, definitely, you know, I'm picking up the stronger partner is the one who is like the glue. And the partner who struggles emotionally has it in them to be divine and is very confident at times, but they are also very, um, I want to even say inexperienced. I don't think they've followed through on relationships, right? Like this is somebody who dates people and it doesn't last longer than like maybe six months, right? Um, if they have had a long-term relationship, it's been a long time. So there's something about being with you for sure that feels longer than other situationships or relationships that they've been in. All right. What do we have with this nine of cups for what they would say about this connection? This connection is a dream, right? If asked, this connection is something that I've always wanted. Somebody who balances me, somebody who talks me out of my, you know, doing something stupid, somebody who <laughs> I'm going to say, you know, who you are to them. And I know some of you may not like it, but some of you are like a paternal figure to this person. Okay. Um, that's a part of the appeal. They lacked real guidance in their life. And here you are very leader-esque. Okay. So they like that. Nine of cups. I needed someone to ground me. You know, you hear it. Pe you hear people say that typically masculine energies. They'll say that a lot. You know, my person calmed me down. Yeah. My person, um, you know, this is the person that I, you know, um, I learned to be a better person from them. So it's kind of got those elements to it. Some of you may be dealing with somebody who is a king of wands Okay, I'm picking up a king of wands, somebody who gives off confidence, someone who gives off authority, very sexy physically, okay, has a lot of people that attracted to them, but also this person is very limited in their emotional cachet, right? They don't really get into or know how to express themselves to you the way that you need as a, a mature, like, fulfilled person so that doesn't feel like it stopped any of you i must say this connection feels like it's going strong literally we got strength ten of pentacles ace of pentacles here there are not a lot of negative messages showing up besides the fact that, that this person sometimes gets overwhelmed by the intensity of what you have with them but the nine of cups is definitely you know i i got what i wish for right i this is what i said i wanted and i got it and i gotta find a way to make it work for sure because the sun is the happiest card in the deck and it represents somebody who is pleased with you group three what they would say about this connection is that they're pleased <laughs> the sun and the nine of cups i don't need anybody else i'm good they may make your life hell at times with their bad attitude with their temper tantrums with their always finding an issue with some somehow you the way you said something or the things that you say but this person loves you to death Okay. And the way that they would describe this connection of that, if as, if as, is that you are the sun to them. You are very important to them. You are the life force. Okay. You are their battery, their energy here. So in the dark, representing, you may not know a lot of these feelings because they don't say it. 
They haven't said it to you. They're too busy, you know, um, you know, living the, the illusion of a life of fulfillment and they are authority and they are, you know, the leader, but it's really you. You're the wizard, right? Behind, you're behind the, 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 um, the curtain <laughs> sort of keeping them going. Right. Everybody else is like, Oh my God, how do you do it? Group threes person. You're so popular and people are in this and that. And they may not know that you exist. They may not know that you are the motivating force for them wanting to make more money. Ten of pentacles, pentacles because you make a lot of money or because you're very stable and secure and they want to, you know, be a good partner for you. Right. So true love here. Right. You're the star, the sun of this person's life. You know, we even have the moon here. You even represent, you know, darkness to them at times. Something that is very challenging for them to make it through. But eventually they see the reason that they need to, to work through their own sort of insecurities and challenges. Okay, I'm going to try to block out the noise outside if you guys can hear it. But a lot of you, this person would describe you. They would tell others. They would say, if asked, you are their true love. Somebody they experience true, um, pure, unconditional love with and mixed messages, right? We already know why that's here. Um, this person is confident and secure on the outside. And on the inside, there's like a bunch of like, um, there, there's a lot of, insecurities running loose and you need you being temperance and the star okay bring it down you know you're okay you're safe <laughs> you're loved you know those things so i'm gonna grab some messages group three that will come through let's see um let's see what comes through what would this person say if asked about group three and the connection they have with group three committing to you is my goal period that's what i saw right um you have somebody who a lot of you i feel like they're committed to you even if they don't say the words like they may be giving you a hard time about yeah it's not the time to commit i need to get another job first i need to do this first blah 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 they go out they're not talking to nobody they're not trying to get nobody's number they're thinking about you the entire time so there's a committed you know mature energy with this person at times where even if they engage in stupid stuff, they don't go too far, okay? There's there's a ground there. Like I said, there's definitely some earth energy here for some of you, the person that you're dealing with. They may have even been influenced by earth signs of mother, of father, somebody who's like, look, no matter how much fun you have, don't ever like hurt your true love. Like don't ever do anything so stupid that you can't come back. Something like that keeps this person from going the, the super, you know, um, ridiculous route. I need to talk to you. So I think they do want to tell you everything that I kind of picked up here about what they feel about you, that you're their true love, that they sometimes feel like keeping their feelings under wraps is a safer route for them because they don't want to get hurt. They kind of have done the hurting for some of them and they may feel like it's a karma thing. Uh, others of them may feel like, you know, once I open this, this, this Pandora's box, of love and commitment, I can't go back, right? I, I don't believe in breakups and divorce and stuff like that. So this person knows the pressure that is on them and they want to talk to you about it. They don't want you to feel unwanted by them. Um, I'm pretending, duh, We what did I say? You're the wizard of Oz, keeping this king of wands to the world together. You're the one that's, you know, keeping them, you know, afloat and they are ashamed. I saw this when I was shuffling and the fact that it's at the bottom of the deck. I know that this person feels a lot of shame that they haven't really been as secure and confident in themselves and their feelings that they should have been because you have given them that safe space. But I also feel like, you know, this is the big message from you guys. They don't want to tell other people. They want to tell you how they feel about you and what you mean to them. So for a lot of you, you are this person's ultimate. You are their everything and they want to be with you. Okay. And I think we're dealing with somebody who doesn't really care what other people think about that. They want what you think about that. All right. So that is what I have for you, Group 3. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And um, if you're interested in a personal reading, make sure you check out the details in the description box.